mention a lot because I'm also product of global and local.
because we are related to the, not only music, but <coughs> even the spirit, you know, so. Mm -hmm. I think my colleague from Brunei also mentioned about the, um, um, the first Jepang tour. It, it was also in my country. So I think uh, the way we present may be a little bit different with the influx uh, surrounding when we were born in the place. Yeah. So this is, uh, I think the scale is about the same, but I would add some notes so it's become, because if we deal with only five, it will be boring, you know, and so this was a little bit uh, efficient note, but the point is uh, we can deal with the harmony, uh, the rhythmic uh, pattern, but the thing is the, the chank of the, I don't know in English chank of, but the, 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 the uses of the pitch, you know, it's, it's you know, it's that's make the music can be, you know, character, character characterized by that. Even me at the music department, when I was teaching, I teach them the Beatles, Led Zeppelin, John Mayer, whatever, mm -hmm. the rock music, because they were born, you know, surrounding that. So we cannot force to, to, to force them to, to follow the things, but by using that, and then we, we put inside what is the main things in the traditional music, see, like, because the beat always be in the music. It's, it's our pulse, you know. You know. And to listen to the music? Uh, 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 you know, in my country, Balinese music also very famous. It's related to the uh, religion, the Buddhism, the Hinduism. Uh, Balinese, it's uh, the culture and the, uh, the religion, it's become, you know, one. Yeah, it, 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 it's very unique, you know. So, uh, I, I was a lot inspired of the Balinese, but things not because only Balinese or Japanese, but the scale of the music. And for me, it's important. Whenever I use the Western music, mm -hmm. that the soul should be in there. See, like, I cannot, no, it's not that style. Mm -hmm. And this is one of my piece 
called Immortal Love. Mm. It's uh, influenced by the very famous uh, legend of Bali Chalo Nara. So it's about it's about love, but I I use that love for for uh, more general and immortal. So I think same thing that uh, for me music is not only for dance, not only only for voice, but music also for movement. So movement, you can dance, you can mime, whatever. Because uh, <coughs> before is asking like the music if they perform without the lyrics, yeah. So my music, you can perform with the lyrics. You can perform without the lyrics as long you feel it in the soul, in the spirit. So because some people maybe play a traditional music, but if the spirit and soul is not in their heart, I don't think so they can produce the the music that really based on the feel of the traditional. Mm -hmm. So this is Immortal Love. Mm -hmm. um, it was performed in Korea also with the ballets. And uh, the dance for me also not always on the stage. They can come from the background, but you know, in a different mm -hmm. side. But at least how to communicate with the audience itself. Mm -hmm. Because I think the traditional culture, it's talking about the community, the, the communication, you know, it's not only that way.
So your music really, you know, mm -hmm. talk a lot uh, for uh -huh. this, um, uh, you know, very short uh, time of presentation. Maybe um, we have a few Q and A time. Yes, I can mm. Yeah, it's so well known. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.